In this tutorial, I will illustrate manual text kerning using Inkscape version point forty-five. What is kerning? Kerning is defined as the measurement of space between two adjacent letters. So this can be applied if you're in Inkscape and you're using text in your project and you need to adjust the space either left or right, up or down of individual characters. So let me illustrate this. First I'll type out some text. And if I double click, I can get inside of the text box. Okay, now if I get in between characters, holding the Alt key down and the right arrow key, I can adjust the space in between the characters. Get in between another set of characters, and I can adjust that space. Now if I want to push this character up or down, I can use the Alt key, up arrow, I can select this character, hit the down arrow, and if I want to rotate this character, I hold the Alt key and the bracket key down. I can then move it up and you can see how useful text kerning could be. Let's delete this. Okay, if you're working on a project that calls for text to be put on a path, like so, I'll use the shift key down, or I'll, excuse me, I'll hold the shift key down, select both items, put on path. You can see that some of the characters are spaced further apart than others. We can double click this. I'll hold the Alt key down, right arrow, and I can adjust this. And one can see how handy this tool is. And that's manual text kerning. Now if I want to remove the kerning, I can go up to the text pull down, remove manual kerns, and it's back to the original state. And that's text kerning. Thank you for watching. I'm Heathen X.